finally a lot of excitement at the 2023 Auto Expo. The Jimny is finally here and as you can see, it's got two doors on the side. That means this is a Fido. It's an exclusive Fido that has been launched first in India. Might be considered for other markets as well. But the Jimny finally makes its India debut. It first was shown to us at the previous Auto Expo in its three-door avatar and now the new one is here in its Fido avatar. Let me give you a closer look. So as you would expect, there is a lot of crowd already. There is another one right there and we just can't even get there. That's the signature color in green. There are five colors that you can have with this, but I'm going to come to that later. Let me show you the front end of the vehicle already. So this is, of course, the accessorized version. So you will see a lot of bits uh, that will be available as a part of the Maruti Genuine Accessories program. Like, for example, these plates that you see here or even uh, the textured uh, scuff plates that you see. Uh, that's not the stock that's going to be different also the chrome uh, that you see on the grill etc so this is all uh, you know accessories you can also see the roof rails there so uh, let's begin with the chassis it is a ladder frame chassis uh, it sits on a ladder frame chassis has five doors it is the same length as a thar two door uh, so that's about 3985 millimeter that's a sub four meter vehicle but it's not as wide as a thar in fact it's not even as wide as a Bellino. So the width is lesser, the height is also lesser. Those roof rails are not standard, so that's not counted in the height, but the height is lesser, yes. Uh, then you also get the choice of alloy wheels on the top end variant or the lower end variant will get steel rims. There are going to be only two variants, uh, not too many to choose from, uh, and both are going to have side and curtain airbags as standard. So safety equipment is decent. Uh, you get disc brakes at the front, drum brakes at the rear. Uh, what you will also uh, notice is that the overhangs are minimal. The, wheel, the wheels sit at the far corners of the vehicle. Uh, so, you know, in terms of the ingress, egress, it shouldn't be a problem. In terms of uh, the space, it should be decent. But it's obviously going to have a lot of advantages in the off-road environment. Speaking of that, what goes under the hood is the older 1.5 K15B engine, the 1.5 petrol. It is mated to the older four-speed torque converter automatic or you can have it with a five-speed manual also there is the all grip pro i'm going to go to the rear again and show you the all grip pro logo uh, because you are not allowed to get inside the car just yet you can see it says all grip but it's got the all grip pro which means that inside you're going to have an additional lever an additional shifter so to say You can see that right there right in front of the handbrake that's your gear selector and that in front of the handbrake that will allow you to shift between two wheel four wheel and four low modes now since we are taking a look at the cabin yeah too many reflections but it also gets the larger screen compared to uh, the Jimny that goes in the international market you also see the twin pot instrumentation binnacle right there you have the familiar steering from Suzuki you have this grab handle right here and textured panels on top so of course as you would expect for an off-roader it's got pretty vertical uh, layout for the dashboard the seats are also pretty upright but this is going to be where the money shot is because Fido is going to give you a lot more space compared to the Thar and this is going to be one of the biggest appeals for anyone who, anyone who has been considering the Thar and the Jimny and wants to make a decision between these two vehicles right so this is the other side uh, it's kept at an angle let me see if I can show you the chassis once more there you go it's a ladder frame chassis oh and the wheel sizes uh, these are 15 inch rims, 195 section tires, that's the same size that goes on both if I'm not wrong on the lower end variant as well but like I said there are going to be only two variants. So here at the rear you can see a regular door handle, you see the request sensor right here and uh, this is the accessorized version like I said so you also get a spare wheel cover but the spare wheel is included even on the lower Absolutely. end variant without a cover of course and you can also see there so that's a very conventional door handle conventional lock and you still have that request sensor right there so the engine puts out 104 ps of power and there's about 
135 newton meters of torque so that is going to be something that people are going to sort of point out and say that it's still not a diesel it's not going to give you the same kind of uh, you know torque that you expect from a diesel but then again we've driven gypsies in the past we've driven them with uh, you know puny engines as well and we know what they're capable of right so from that perspective I have a lot of hopes even from the five-door Jimny even with that aging engine and gearbox combination and that's something that we'll know once we drive the car of course but this is simply phenomenal uh, what you get in terms of the suspension is three link rigid suspension at the front and the rear and just look at the kind of travel there is I don't have the figures on the travel yet but this, you can easily see this this is the kind of travel that you have of course the vehicles leaned over so that's going to make a bit of a difference but it's going to give you excellent travel like I said the wheels are to the far corners of the car very low overhangs especially at the rear you know there are no overhangs to talk about even at the front hardly anything so in terms of its off-roading capability uh, as far as the dimensions go I think it's going to be very easy the approach angle departure angle etc is going to be very easy despite the uh, you know longer five door setup that you see here uh, you also see projector beam lamps here you get the fog lamps those are the turn blinkers and pretty large rear view mirrors let me try and give you a look of the dashboard from this side you also see the sun visors right there tiny sun visors you will see reading lamps on top for the front and separate ones at the rear as well the boot space is going to be pretty decent so that shouldn't be a worry either so I think it's going to be an excellent urban runabout as well apart from its off-roading capabilities but I think this is one excellent looking vehicle you see that antenna on top as well uh, as far as that in instrumentation go infotainment goes like I said it gets a bigger screen uh, than uh, it gets a bigger screen than the international Jimny the international Jimny gets a smaller screen this is going to be of course compatible with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto uh, It's the same smart play system that we've seen on the newer generation of Maruti Suzuki cars uh, like the Bellino, uh, like even the Frunks that has been launched today another uh, crossover based on the Bellino I'm going to come to that later in a different video uh, but here I'm going to concentrate on the Jimny let's see that there's still a lot of uh, people here of course a lot of attention uh, that this vehicle is garnering right here uh, so that's the signature color like I said you can have it in five colors this being the signature there's the red as well and then there is the option of a black roof on some of the colors I think the red uh, red and this one have the black roof I don't think the others have it uh, but anyway so you can see the hinges here much uh, more prominently these are the hinges it just opens outward like that you also see the uh, rear windscreen wiper right there and uh, unlike the Thar you will not have to open the door and the windscreen separately it will be just one door uh, that will open this is where the fuel filler goes uh, like I was trying to show you the cabin yeah so this gives you a slightly better view so that is the center console you can see those rectangular AC vents you can see the larger screen you can see the AC controls down below and there are the window opening switches uh, and uh, the hill descent control as well you can see the second switch from the right that's the hill descent control you have traction control as well and then the two window opening switches on the side uh, you can see the five speed manual shifter right here through this and you have round AC vents on the sides you can see that right there and that's the instrumentation binnacle you can see that two large counters ref counter speedometer you also have the steering uh, mounted controls that you can see here and you can get a peek on the side uh, it's got the same steering as the other car so you also get that little switch here on the side that's the 4x4 selector that I was talking about all grip pro so you can get two wheel high little exhaust tip right there so now the reversing lamps the turn blinkers and the tail lights are all in the bumper so that's something that you have to be careful about but again a very basic unit nothing too fancy there you also see the parking sensors there are two parking sensors here two beneath here so a total of uh, four parking sensors and you see the reversing camera right here 
the placement is going to be a bit of a worry. That's where, that's something that we'll try out uh, once we review the car. You might have to keep getting out of the car and keep cleaning it if you're, if you're doing a lot of off-roading. But yeah, that is uh, what it is. So the Bristol uh, Bristol Dueler HL is the stock tire uh, for this car at the moment. 195 section, uh, like I told you. That's the little wiper back there. So the boot space is actually quite good because of the height that it gives you. Uh, you know, uh, two tall suitcases shouldn't be a problem is what I think, but obviously we'll test that out. Like I pointed out, uh, you don't, uh, you don't uh, get a very wide car here. Uh, you can also see a little light in there for the boot. So it's not a very wide car as such, uh, even uh, you know, uh, not as wide as the Bellino for that matter. But I think that's going to be the beauty of it. The compact dimensions are going to make it an excellent urban runabout. And the off-roading capability is we already know what the chimney can do. All that remains to be seen now is how that engine performs in this particular package. And that is something we hope to find out soon. Uh, they haven't given us timelines yet on exactly when the launch is going to be. Uh, but it, it's not going to be too far. Uh, they have not used the Auto Expo to launch the vehicle. They've only unveiled it here. Uh, they will do a formal launch for this and the fronts. And I am guessing it will uh, be priced around uh, the same bracket as a little higher maybe uh, than the entry point of the two-wheel drive car. You know the rear-wheel drive car. So uh, this is going to be uh, this is going to be a big talking point for the vehicle. A lot of crowd here. Yeah, there. That's the final shot for us. So uh, the pricing I'm guessing is going to be between uh, 12 to 15 lakh rupees on road. That is what my hope is at least. And we'll talk about that. Uh, you know, once the actual launch happens. But I think even if it launches at that price on road. Uh, I think not even, but I think if it launches at that price on road, it is going to uh, really uh, not just, uh, you know, it will not have to carve a niche for itself, it will actually take on the market much in a much stronger manner than what it would. So I think, I'm sorry, I'm at a loss of words right now, just too excited and exhausted. But this is the car. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I've given you all the information that I can.